We are here. I'll start with Chris Bassett. If anyone else has a question, just ask, put it in the chat. Chris, go ahead. Hey, Fred, just looking at, at Wisconsin's roster, they obviously have the, the five senior starters and return so much experience. As a college coach, is that kind of kind of the ideal when, you're, when you want to put a roster together is just to have that kind of experience if you can get it? Yeah, it, it's uh, they've done a phenomenal job. Greg Gard is, is, has been uh, outstanding with what he's done as far as putting that roster together. Uh, what they did last year, uh, winning the league and bringing uh, pretty much everybody back from that team, uh, it's, it's very difficult to prepare for. They know each other so well. They play off each other so well, and they make the right plays. Uh, they have great continuity with what they're doing. Uh, they know where, we, where each other is at all times. You can look at them. Their turnover numbers are extremely low. They're a high assist team. They, uh, uh, you know, they've always got you uh, going in, in a million different directions. So it's, uh, it's, it's a tough team to defend. They're shooting 44% from the three-point line as a team, which is just absolutely absurd. And uh, you know, every single one of those guys that's on the floor can make a shot and make a play. Uh, they put you in a very difficult situation with that starting lineup with Potter and Reavers at the four or five spot, and both those guys are as good as any on their roster at shooting the ball and two of the better bigs in the paint. So they, they put you in a very difficult spot with, uh, with the experience uh, and then just with that much skill that they have all over the floor. Robin, watch it. You, know, you guys kind of got that uh, positivity boost with the win over Doan, some time also to focus on the challenge ahead. I guess now that it's here, Big Ten play begins. Uh, do you feel like your team is ready, or are you still kind of in wait and see mode? Well, I yeah, I, I think we're ready. I I, I did, uh, you know, I liked our spirit. The next morning, we came back for a, a tough practice after the Doan game. We had two really good hard days, and we had to take yesterday off by rule, which is unfortunate. You'd like to go consecutive days into the game, but just based on our schedule, that was really the only way that we could do it. Uh, had a good, sharp, uh, shorter practice today, and, and we'll get another opportunity with a film session uh, before we get on the bus, a film session tonight before we have our, our dinner, and then get a chance to walk through again at the arena uh, tomorrow. So it should give us plenty of time to prepare. Uh, but again, Wisconsin puts you in so many difficult spots. They're, they're random, they're, they're running more motion this year after their initial play breaks down. Uh, they screen you, they do an unbelievable job, they're physical. Uh, they do so many things that, that make it difficult on the defense. But you know, I think our guys, are in a good place, and, and hopefully we go out and, and play well and give ourselves a chance. Sam McEwen? I just wanted to ask you one more, too, uh, about this game getting moved from today to tomorrow. Uh, what led up to that? And I know that gives them another day to prepare, gives you one less day to prepare for Michigan. I guess what, what was kind of the thinking behind that? Yeah, the Big Ten reached out to us and asked if we would be willing to push the uh, game back a day. Uh, they needed to have a, a, a makeup game with the ACC Challenge. Uh, and we felt if it was good for the league that we would, uh, you know, we would adhere to it. So, you know, again, we, we've had days to prepare. It does give us one less day to prepare for Michigan, but we still get two days after this one. Again, that was one of the reasons we had to take the day off yesterday uh, was to give ourselves the two days to prepare uh, going into the Michigan game. But, uh, you know, we felt if it, if it was good for the league, then absolutely we would do it. Sam McEwen. Hey, Fred, big picture question here. Um, how much better equipped are you this season to handle team size? Uh, Wisconsin and Michigan will will present a challenge. Both of them will this week. How much? How better equipped do you think you are? Well, I we're we're longer across the board, Sam. That that that's certainly one one way to look at it. Uh, not many teams that we're going to play are going to have two seven footers in their starting lineup that are as skilled. Uh, both inside and out, as Reavers and Potter are in this in this uh, Wisconsin game, uh, but you know we feel good about Eduardo coming back. He, he certainly can give us some quality minutes with his length. Uh, you know Ivan obviously has had a lot of experience playing uh, in the Big Ten. One of the few guys on our roster that has experience playing against the physical bigs that are in this league. Uh, you know we should be getting, we will be getting Derek back shortly, uh, who will help as well on the inside. So that gives us three guys, uh, you know, not only they can give physical bodies in there, but they can give up fouls against some of the uh, bigger players in this league. Uh, but yeah, I, you just look at 
you know, Delano at 6'9", at the point, Trey, his instincts defensively uh, are very good. Uh, Teddy's got a, a big, strong body. You know, Thor's got great experience also in the league. So we do feel better, uh, you know, about competing. We just got to do a good job hitting on the glass. Wisconsin will crash three. Uh, we have to make sure we make contact, get the rebound, and hopefully that'll give us uh, some opportunities to get out in transition. But, you know, this is a, a very difficult first test because of how disciplined this team is and the group that's been together for a long time. One more question, big picture. W when you're facing a team that's as offensively efficient as Wisconsin is, and not just Wisconsin, but any team you may face this year, um, do you do you adjust the pace of your offense to maybe – to maybe, uh, I don't know, uh, acknowledge the reality that you may not be able to outscore a team if the game gets in the 80s or 90s? Yeah, I, I, you know, we, we want good quality possessions. Wisconsin does such a good job of guarding the ball and getting into their gaps and, and protecting the paint, protecting the lane. Uh, we can't turn the ball over 20 times and expect to win not only this game, but any game that we're going to face in these next 20. Uh, we have to be aware, and you know, we watch film. They're top ten in the nation in, in shot blocking as well. Uh, Reavers and Potter, uh, Ford, you know, their guards. They've, they've got great length in there at the rim. So we have to be selective uh, if we do get into the paint and try and spray out and hopefully knock down some shots. But uh, you know, Wisconsin, they take care of the ball, and with them sitting in gaps, they can turn you over if you try to drive into small spaces. So. Uh, we have to be patient. If, if the initial thrust and the initial play isn't there, uh, we have to trust the offense, get good movement, and hopefully get a quality shot on the board. Thank you. Connor Hepper. Hey, Coach, you knew this league was, was going to be good and was going to be tough. Um, through, through a month of the season, what have you seen from the rest of the Big Ten? Is it possible that it's maybe even better than you thought it was going to be? I guess what have you seen so far? Well, uh, it's yeah, it's phenomenal. And you, you look at what happened uh, so far in some of these games. Uh, you know, Northwestern had a huge win last night against a top five team in Michigan State. Uh, you know, Rutgers that had an unbelievable win, I thought, yesterday. Watched that game against Illinois. Uh, you just look at some of the early games. Uh, Purdue scores 88 and has a big win against Notre Dame. Uh, it, it is. It's every bit as good as last year, maybe even better, uh, top to bottom. You know, we're certainly better. I, I think we're. Uh, you know, a lot better team than we were a year ago. And, and again, certainly moving in the right direction with our future. Uh, so, you know, Big Ten is, you know, look at uh, Minnesota against St. Louis, a big, tough, strong St. Louis team has been rolling people. Uh, so, you know, again, top to bottom, uh, it's the best conference in the country. There's, there's no doubt about it. Kind of prepare the guys for the, the attitude of you know there's there's no breaks from now on. I mean, outside of what the schedule kind of gives you with the with the weeks off in there, but just night in and night out, every opponent um, being as good as they are, like you said. Well, our I, our, our guys know it. They they, they watch. Uh, you know, they they've been seeing what's been going on uh, in our league to this point early on in the season in the non-conference portion and in the, in the early. Uh, uh, part of the of the conference season, it's you know they know they understand it's going to be a grind every time you step on the floor. The importance of taking care of your body, uh, getting your proper rest, uh, putting the right things in your body, uh, preparing as well as you can uh, to go out there and compete and hopefully give yourself a chance. You know we're looking at 40 consistent minutes of basketball uh, if we want a chance to win games and hopefully we take a step in the right direction against a quality team like Wisconsin tomorrow. Uh, we know it's going to be tough. You know they. Look what they did to uh, uh, Louisville the other day. They, you know, they beat them by 40. A very quality ranked ACC team. Uh, so it, it's going to be it's going to be a grind. It's going to be tough, but we just want to keep taking steps in the right direction. And, and I'm confident our, our our group will do that. A couple more here. We'll go Andrew Ward. Hey Fred, along those lines, how do you kind of keep them confident? You know, knowing that this is such a grind, and you know, maybe the wins and losses might not be you know, more wins than the losses at that point. And it, but how do you focus on improvement at, at that point? Yeah, I, I mean, we're, we're going to come in every day and, and, and approach it in a professional manner. And whether we win or lose, we want to we want to get better. We want to take the right steps. And it, I do think it's a group that has a lot of pride. Uh, you know, even after losses, they come in the next morning. They're attentive in film sessions. Uh, they come out. They work extremely hard on the court. They want to get better and they want to improve. Uh, you know, so I, I am confident this group will continue to do that. The challenge continues to be, especially with a new group like we have, is the fighting through the adversity and finding a way to battle through the tough times. We have not done a great job 
with that yet, especially with under 10 to go, whether we come down and take a quick one or we come down and you know, don't move the ball. Uh, we don't get back in transition with the same uh, thrust that we need to that we did early in the game to, to take away baskets. You look at Creighton, for example, you give up four and a half and 28 and a half in transition. That can't happen. Uh, we have to be more consistent in all areas, uh, but we're, 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 that's what we're striving for. We're striving to be a team that plays consistent basketball for 40 minutes, understanding it's difficult, uh, and every time on the floor is a learning opportunity for our team. Okay, we'll take two more. Uh, Rex Smith. Hey, Coach, you play this time of the year every year, but what's your message to your guys as you go into this stretch of your schedule where you're starting your Big Ten conference games, but you're also going into the holidays, you play on Christmas, and it's it's a weird year with COVID where guys really can't see families as all. Do you talk to them at all about kind of trying to stay focused during that? Yeah, it, it is a strange time. I, I, I do know our guys are excited to play on Christmas. Uh, when you're a basketball player, when you grow up, you watch Christmas Day games, all the time, you know, generally it's the NBA. Colleges are off uh, with the exception of the tournament over in Hawaii that uh, I think six teams play in. But, you know, it, it, it is something where we wanted to keep our guys occupied and keep them busy over the holidays because of the fact that they couldn't go home uh, and see their families. It's just such a unique, strange time and weird year. Uh, you just have to do the best you can to get through it. Uh, you know, I know a lot of people have talked about the mental health component. Uh, you know, trying to keep them upbeat, trying to keep them occupied, trying to keep them busy as we possibly can with no school right now. Uh, you know, without being really most of them for the first time in their lives, not being with their families uh, for, for the Christmas holiday. So, you know, our guys know that we're here for them and we'll do everything that we can uh, to get them through this time and, and to hopefully make them as comfortable as possible. Last question, Robin Washit. I just wanted to follow up on Eduardo. Uh, just how was his physical shape after that game? And it was his first real action in a long time. Uh, did he re respond well physically? And do you expect he'll be able to handle that kind of workload going forward? Yeah, he, he did respond well physically. He, you know, Eduardo works. He's, he's getting in the gym early. He's, he's getting a lot of finishing work with Coach Gates uh, in the mornings before practice. He's just, as I walked out of practice today, he was in there running sprints with Coach Wilson just doing everything he can to make up for all the time that he missed and to get his win back as quickly as possible. But I loved what I saw out of him in his first experience. Now, obviously, he's going to be playing against a lot bigger, more physical players uh, than he played against in his first game. But, uh, you know, I I've love everything about Eduardo. I think the kid's got a tremendous future. Uh, he's been playing basketball for four years. So the upside uh, that he has is as good as anybody in our roster. And, you know, I feel really good about him. And again, a big piece uh, of our future and, and what we're going to bring. I'm going to throw him out there, whether he's ready or not. You know, I think it's important to get Eduardo uh, good quality minutes and, uh, and prepare him for his future. That will conclude Coach Horberg. We'll have players momentarily. I'll take questions from the group. I'll start with Chris Bassnett first. Hey, Lat, getting into conference play now, obviously it's, a, it's a, a little different level of competition, I guess. What do you guys expect and now as, as you get into a schedule against probably the best league in the country? Um, we're just really excited to start conference right now. So it's just going to be fun going against, um, obviously, better competition, bigger bodies and more athletic plays. But uh, – just excited, really, to see, take the challenge and go, go up against that. Andrew Ward. Hey, Lat, what have, like, some of the veterans, uh, you know, Thor and, and, and Ivan have told you about, about playing in this league and just how physical it is? Um, I mean, Ivan, Ivan told me it's really physical. Obviously, Ivan is, is a strong kid. You know, he's, he's very physical himself. And so for him to say it's very physical, then 
obviously it is um, pretty physical and just experience Thor has in the Big Ten, um, obviously that helps us a lot and and his knowledge as well. So, yeah, they both got um, good experience in Big Ten. Sam McEwen? So what have you learned so far about uh, guarding big men and, and what do you what do you see on, on tape of the two guys that Wisconsin has and the guy that's from Michigan too, I guess? Um, well, what I see is um, you got to do your work early. You know, you can't you can't let them make the first contact. You got to beat them to the spot, and you obviously got to do your work early. And, and that's really what you got to do. If you do your work early, I feel like you're gonna be all right. Um, so yeah. What do you, what have you seen from Eduardo in his? Uh, how how good of a post defender do you think he's gonna be? Eduardo, he's gonna be really good. Um, his future is really bright. Um, he probably just got to put on a little more size, but he's he's really physical as well, aggressive player, and he's really good. Thank you. Robin, Robin Washit. Speaking of Eduardo, just what did his addition, I know it was just one game against Doan, but how much did that change things for you, uh, maybe having to play a little bit less of the five and, and more on the perimeter? Um, it does change a lot of stuff for me, actually. Um, obviously, it will make me more comfortable at my um, natural spot. So it does change a lot, especially for me. But um, if I do have to go back and play some fives, then I'm also happy to do that as well for the team. Any questions for Lat from the group? Put them in the chat. OK, we'll go to, OK, that's it. We'll go to Kobe Webster here momentarily. Thank you. Webster. I'll start with questions. I'll start with Robin Washit. Hey, Kobe, now that Big Ten play is officially here, um, how much have you learned about your team as far as just learning how to play together, what works, what doesn't, and are you guys ready for this 20-game meat grinder you're about to get into on tomorrow night? Uh, yeah, I would definitely say we're ready. Um, we're obviously still – you know, trying to make strides in the right direction every day in practice. Um, you know, still trying to buy into everything that coach is preaching. Um, biggest thing I think I've learned is that when, when we play together and we, we play for each other, that's when we're at our best. So um, I think if we come out and stay committed to the game plan and play for one another, I think we're going to be all right. Rex Smith. Hey, Kobe, what's it like from a player's perspective going into this stretch where uh, you're starting your Big Ten schedule, but the holidays are coming up. You get to play on Christmas. Coach talked about how guys are excited about that. But overall, with COVID and everything, you can't see your families. Is that, is that tough for players? Uh, I mean, yeah, I think not seeing your family is definitely tough. But um, this is what we signed up for. You know, uh, we all have dreams of playing on Christmas one day at the next level. So uh, having that opportunity to, to play over the holidays, um, you know, all the fans watching us back home, uh, we're definitely all excited for that. And like I said, this is what we signed up for. Um, we're just excited to, that we have basketball season, uh, like you said, with the COVID stuff going on. So, um, yeah, we're definitely looking forward to it. Chris Passbet. Hey, Kobe, how much of, has the coaching staff, you know, just talked about the experience Wisconsin has, five senior stars, a bunch of guys that played last year. Is that something that's that's been brought up with you guys? And, and how do you kind of, what do you kind of see in that team when you look at them? Uh, definitely, you know, like you said, they have five senior starters, so um, they're definitely prepared. I mean, that's why they're they're ranked near the top ten in the country. Um, I think, you know, when we look at them, the matchups is uh, they're they're huge. They're obviously big inside in the paint, um, nearly two seven footers starting uh, that can stretch the floor as well. Um, they got guys that come off the bench that are you know six five, six six, six nine. Um, so I think, you know, for us, it's just going to be about being physical, matching their physicality uh, in the paint and, and doing our work early. Sam McEwen. Can you 
can you um, expand on this idea of doing your work early? Lat brought it up too. What what is that? What do you what does that mean? Um, you know, when when those bigs are are trailing the play, or um, when they're rim running, or coming off those back screens, we can't allow them to um, you know make first contact in the paint. We have to make sure that they fill us. Um, even guards like myself, you know, when I see someone cut into the basket, make sure I, I bump them um, off their path um, and don't let don't let them get any easy catches in the paint. Connor Hepper. I know you have a game in the in-between, Kobe, but uh, are you excited to play on Christmas? Do you think that'll be fun? Yeah, no doubt. Like I said, you know, we all dream of playing on Christmas at the next level. Uh, so uh, I think it's, it's definitely going to be fun having, you know, all, all our parents and families back home uh, being able to celebrate but also watch the game.